We're at 3M's secret laboratory here in St. Paul, Minnesota, where they test their sandpaper, their tools, automotive finishes, metalworking. They have a whole bunch of stuff in here. We're gonna go check it out. You're not supposed to film in here. Shh. All right, I'm here with Dan inside their secret wood laboratory here at 3M, and he's gonna to talk to us about why Cubitron is different than your big box store style sandpaper. Well, basically the construction is, is a big difference, but uh, the secret sauce in the Cubitron too is the mineral that goes inside it. And 3M has figured out a way to shape their mineral in perfect little triangles so that it just simply stays sharp longer in, in woodworking applications. And that's, that's kind of the secret sauce that allows us to have a, a more aggressive cutting sandpaper, but still give you a good finish. So was this developed for woodworking or did it? It, down into it, it, it actually was a trickle down. Um, the first grades we made were uh, the 36 grit, and it was really designed for, uh, for the metalworking applications. And uh, essentially what happened is we launched it in the metalworking applications and we discovered how well it worked. I mean, we had a, a 36 grit that was cutting like a 24, but leaving a finish like a 40. And uh, over time, they're like, hey, this is really cool. Why don't we put this in woodworking products too? And, and in all honesty, it took us a little bit of time to figure yeah. out how we can make it work on a random orbital disc right. as opposed to a, a metal grinding fiber disc. And you have a couple of different styles that you can choose from. I personally use the mesh, but you also have a few others. There. Yeah, so we've got, um, we've got a film disc um, called the 775L. The nice thing about the film product is, it is it's more durable than uh, what most of your papers are. And uh, you don't see the, the film backing in uh, too many big box stores. And it right. really comes down to the durability. And the nice advantage of doing the more durable film, in this case, is we're, we're seeing better life out of our abrasive side. Um, so we want to get a little better life out of the backing as well. And this whole pattern will match any orbital center. Yeah, over. The, the whole pattern is really designed to work with any backup pad uh, from any manufacturer. And what happens is that the hook and loop creates a little bit of an air gap and it allows that dust to flow through the holes in the abrasive into the holes in the backup pad. So right. you won't see a multi-hole pattern if right. you're using a sticket or a PSA type yeah. of disc. And so we got some examples of you sanding with the non-hole version the non versus the hole version with a dust extractor. What caught, so you're getting better productivity when you hook it to a dust extractor, why is that? Why is that is, is because the, uh, the dust that we're sanding, the dust that we're creating, if we don't give that some place to go, it creates a pillow or a cushion, so yeah. to speak, between the abrasive and your substrate. And if, if your abrasive can't make contact, it can't do the cutting. Right. So we, we do see a nice improvement in uh, productivity. We, none of us like the sand. Right. <laughs> so it does help us get it done a little bit more efficiently, but we've also been able to recognize as much as 40% disc life improvement oh, yeah. by getting that dust out of there too. So on the disc life, itself versus something like the aluminum oxide or the silicone carbide which is typically used in your big box store brands right yes and yep. so the cubitron life is how much better you know on I, I was going to say I, I on average i'd say anywhere from 30 to 40 percent you're getting longer life we're longer. getting longer life we've and we've honestly even compared to some of our other products our, our aluminum oxide paper products right. I, i've seen this product go as much as 12 times oh wow in, a, in, a, in the right application. So um, we, we're always cautious. 3M yeah. tends to be pretty conservative. Right. So I, I can confidently say 30 to 40%, but I've seen much better. Nice. And you do have a sander. I've, I've reviewed this on the channel. We'll link that in the description, but this is a very nice sander. Uh, this is your electric sander, right? Y'all have a pneumatics, but most woodworkers are using the electric. What's special about this sander? So what, what, we, uh, what we like about the sander, we've done a lot of work. Um, some folks have noticed the housing, obviously when we compare it to our pneumatics, the housing is quite a bit bigger. Um, but what we wanted to do is make sure and create enough airflow to keep the electric tools from overheating. When these are designed for a, an industrial application, we've got somebody that may be sanding six out of eight hours a day. Right. We want to provide them maximum life and keep the tool cool. So we've got a larger housing on it to allow the airflow through. We do have LED indicators on it. So right now they're red. Um, when we turn it on, they turn green. And then when we raise and lower the speed, we can it reveals the difference. And the right. nice thing about it is it's got a memory. So when we shut it off and then turn it back on, it came, comes right. back to the setting that we were one on. One of the, the main thing, the, one, the first thing I noticed about it, my first impression of the center was when I plugged it in 
and I hit that paddle switch was how little vib vibration there is yeah. in the sander. Like that was, I was like, I was blown away by it. I'd done it on camera. I was like, oh wow, like this is <laughs> yeah. impressive. That obviously is one of the things that we're pretty proud of is, is low vibration and, and um, the orbit size helps. You know, having the smaller orbits right. um, helps minimize felt vibration too, and which is important. It right. really is important. When you talk about this sander, you said airflow, right? That's with this sander, is important that you have some type of vacuum system or dust extractor using it, and it's going to help with the with the cooling. But it also helps with the actual dust, where it's getting your less productivity yeah. and all that. So absolutely, y'all have a dust extractor too, right? We do. So I did a review on this also. Okay. And uh, tell me about your dust extractor. The nice thing about our dust extractor is it's got a twin filter system, and as you look at the top of the filter, you'll see these little metallic plates. And then on the inside of the housing, we've got these little metallic hammers. And the way the filter cleaning process works is it literally hits the top of the filter. I didn't know that. And knocks the dust off. You can hear that. Da, 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 yeah. da, da. Yep. And that, so that's what you're hearing is that physical tapping. Yep. Well, you can't knock the dust off efficiently while we're pulling air through it. So we offer a two twin filter system so that while we're cleaning one, we're routing all the air through the other oh, one. Oh, nice. And then, um, You'll hear it pause and click, and what that's doing is then rerouting all the air through the newly cleaned filter while it cleans the other one. So we've, you know, we've got the multiple settings on this. Um, we've got the uh, constant on, so that it'll run just like a regular vacuum cleaner. Um, obviously the off, and then we've got our automatic with the filter cleaning cycle. And when I turn this on, you'll hear it go through that cleaning process. It's hitting the one side, pause, and then hit the other side. And then now it does not come on until the uh, tool is actuated. When we actuate the tool, the dust extractor will kick on. And then when we stop the tool, the dust extractor runs for about five seconds to uh, clear all the debris out of the hose. Unless you order from Tay Tools, this actually comes with only a plastic bag. It does. And that plastic bag is meant for a specific purpose and that's not woodworking, right? Correct. <laughs> the, um, the plastic bag is, is really uh, one of the few applications I would recommend this is, is in a um, hazardous material situation, which we encounter obviously right. more in industrial applications than, than the woodworking. So this would be, um, if, if you need to have a non-permeable bag to put a specific hazardous waste in a waste stream, this fits that bill. You can also pick up as an accessory, again, order from Play Tools, it comes with one free yeah. fleece bag, right? And this is good for helping what? What this does is it's, it really works nicely as a pre-filter. You notice when I took that filter out, there was no dust on it. We've, right. we've been using this for some demonstrations yeah. today. The nice thing it does, it really works as a pre-filter for the uh, onboard filters. And nice. it, it keeps it clean longer. One of the things we didn't talk about is our automatic cleaning system is based on airflow. So when it starts to notice a restriction in airflow, it'll go through the cleaning okay, process. Okay, so it's not timed, it's, it, yep, it's based on airflow. It's based on airflow. So if that. you're using one of these guys, right. it's gonna minimize how many times you have to listen oh, to nice. Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> and I'll tell you, that's one of my, that was one of my, I guess, complaints in the reviews, it didn't come with these, but you're, you're marketing to so many different people. You've got industrial, you also got woodworkers, yep. so it's kind of hard to, we've, to decide. We've got who, people that aren't using anything. Exactly. You know, so, they just draw straws on Friday yeah, afternoon yeah. to see who's got to clean but up. But definitely, the, if you're woodworking, <laughs> get the bag. It'll make this much more enjoyable to use. Yes. Mr. Dan, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I investigated Woodpecker's high prices to see if they're actually worth what they're charging. Check out that video right there and find out.